So this is a video about how to get a digital dash in your car um, relatively cheaply, certainly under like a hundred or so pounds or two hundred dollars or whatever the currency is where you're watching from. Um, my car, there's nothing special about it. It's just a standard car. I've done it up a little bit and, and stuff like that. But I thought after renting a 2018 Fiesta, which had a um, digital dash uh, with navigation and DAB uh, radio control. Um, I thought I like that, I like that, I really like that and I thought oh maybe I could get a, like, a digital dash behind the wheel and then I thought maybe I can kind of um, do both um, but myself and do it f relatively cheaply. Um, so yeah, so hopefully guys, you know, you watch this video, it inspires you to do your own thing whether it's a fully integrated system or semi integrated system like mine um, but either way uh, it's really easy to do it's just knowledge is power as always isn't it um, so yeah watch the rest of it see how I've done it uh, it's really really simple all right cheers enjoy okay guys what you'll need is a tablet um, I've gone for the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 uh, inch because uh, I like the size and it's got the performance uh, to respond quickly um, I'll go um, into more detail about that one in a second. Um, you will need a OBD Bluetooth um, scanner, um, plugged into the ODB port of your car. Um, I've gone for the ODB Link LX um, because it's a faster data transmission rate than the cheap, cheap, cheap eBay ones. Um, so it just provides, a, and it also connects seamlessly each and every time uh, whereas the cheap ones uh, have a tendency to uh, crap out every now and again uh, but the the like the four or five pound one from ebay will be absolutely fine as well uh, if you're just uh, testing it out like i did to start with um, now these next parts are like what i'm using to make a non-permanent um, secure uh, fitting for my car it's going to differ if you're doing this on a different car uh, obviously mine's on the coupe so eBay um, for uh, vent mount uh, mobile phone holders. Uh, the reason for four is just to make it super secure. So one will hold um, my large um, Sony Ultra XA, XA Ultra. Yeah, it's a big, it's like a six inch uh, screen and one of these will hold it. Uh, the reason for four is just to make it absolutely secure, nice and solid um, and position in the vents means that I can use all four. Be prepared that if you do it that way, you will have to stick these onto the back of your tablet. Um, but to be honest, that's you know what I got the tablet for, so in my case, it doesn't matter. Then again, this is just for me and my particular car. Um, I, I just grabbed some uh, some random uh, display metals um, that I had, um, and I've already marked out one. Um, the reason for this is the lip will hold the bottom of the tablet to there, uh, from then from there to there. Um, slides into the, um, the centre console uh, between the gauges in, in my particular car. So that's marked out and I'm going to cut two of these, two of these out like that. And then my cat's going to get in the way because he's a little bastard. Um, then um, adhesive backed foam, uh, I think it's like three, two or three mil foam. Um, this is to cut out and go over uh, these uh, to give it a, a nicer finish and to um, and to stop it scratching the tablet. Um, next, I got um, a spare um, ODB um, cover, so where um, the ODB scanner uh, connects into my car. Um, I don't want it hanging out and I don't want the rest of the fuse box um, on show, so I'm gonna cut out um, the shape of the ODB so that I can put this back in and it's nice and neat. Then finally, uh, for me again, um, just to make it neat but not permanent um, so I can change it from car to car as I change cars uh, just some cable tie clips that can discreetly be stuck uh, and, and cable route um, the USB power cable and possibly the auxiliary cable to my stereo I'm not sure yet um, I don't know if I want to use um, the tablet as a media um, device as well um, so yeah so back to the tablet <coughs> um, I have set this up so Cool. Um, so obviously I'm using Real Dash. Now I've set this up so um, that it automatically, when you plug in um, the power, 
um, it, it boots up real dash straight away and um, I've turned all the lock screens off and everything so basically as you saw in the first initial video um, the screens off I turn the ignition the unit powers on and goes straight into real dash uh, I'll a splash screen of my own um, I've also got a program called Velocirap yeah, Velociraptor and um, that shows you current speed as well um, obviously this isn't connected to the ODB the ODB is not connected to anything so um, it's just to show you kind of done it. Um, I'm using Macroid, Macrodroid um, because although Real Dash does have um, the option I'll just show you. Um, come on. It does have the option to set I think for uh, yeah start shutdown on charging events. Um, it's a bit hit and miss um, so what I'm do is use uh, Macrodroid set up a couple of macros I've got three there but I'm only using two um, so when the power's connected it launches real dash and that's it uh, when the power's disconnected it kills the application yeah simple as that um, I did have because sometimes real dash does have a tendency to freeze whenever I go into reverse for some reason probably maybe a way of uh, where I've adjusted some settings and stuff like that that it does that but um, every now and again it does that so I did have a frozen restart macro but I haven't uh, spent enough time getting that to work at the moment um, and again I've set things like the screen um, to turn off automatically after just 15 seconds because when I uh, turn the ignition off I want the screen to go black uh, fairly promptly and that's as quick as you can do it on this uh, very no Android. Another reason I'm using the Tab A is um, because it has an um, update um, Android operating system. I can't remember if it's 6 or 7. Um, I think it might be 6 and you can upgrade it to 7. But uh, yeah, um, so that's what I've done there. Um, and I think um, if there's any other um, questions about uh, which settings I've used and stuff you can ask me in the comments below or I'll try and add it in the description um, Or I'll try to respond to you, to you individually uh, another reason for using this tablet. It does support GPS. It does support um, a SIM card so obviously with Google Maps um, It's fantastic useful to get uh, to get updates and also for um, For the speedo I used a program called Velociraptor um, which does overlay a, a small uh, and you can customise that to a certain degree, um, the current speed limit, which I think is quite useful. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of that's it. Um, I guess the next thing is, is showing you kind of uh, how I've installed it in the car. I thought I'd just uh, create the update as well. Um, so the plans with, do you remember the metal brackets I've just shown you? Um, I cut them down, uh, kept the end um, short, bent piece is the part I wanted, it's all kind of roughly measured up, it doesn't have to be perfect for what I want it for because this part here is going inside in, in between the console uh, modules um, and the only bit you'll see is the black bit and that's what the um, sticky backed foam um, is for, gives it a nice, uh, I've put one in, um, just slide it in, it slots out again, it's pretty easy, it's very solid, it's just to literally like stabilise the, uh, the, the tablet um, in the centre console. Um, so that's what that's for, um, but you'll probably do something different. And the ODB um, and fuse box cover is uh, is that one there. Obviously, I've still got the spare uh, because I don't want to permanently change the vehicle. Um, that's a bit rough. I've got to smooth out the edges and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that allows the, the ODB to fit nicely in it um, like that. So it'll permanently uh, sit like that. Um, underneath the steering wheel, uh, down on bar my legs, and um, yeah, and I'll show you how um, I'm putting it all in. Um, obviously, like I say, every vehicle will be different, but um, yeah, it just gives you an idea of, of how you can do and what you can do. Awesome. All right, guys, so it's all set up and installed now. Um, I want to show you like kind of what that looks like. Um, if my lad in the back makes some noise, that's because he loves it. Ooh, ooh. Uh, no, it's just because he's playing. Uh, after a road trip. Anyway, I'll see if we we'll flip the video around. Yeah, so as I said, this is like a, an integrated, or well, it's a fairly automated system. Um, so now I've got my ODB scanner um, permanently in position in the ODB port. Um, there's the, the mounts I showed you that I was making. I don't know if you can see them, it's really bright, bad light in here. Um, and literally, um, four magnet holders for phone holders. Um, with the corresponding plates on the back, sits in the middle like that, 
Bosch and it's really like it's really really solid really solid um, so that's fantastic I've got a cable managed I've got some like stick on things I'm gonna do something with a the cable there so it's uh, a bit neater um, but essentially yeah um, if I find my keys there um, as soon as I turn the ignition on The tablet boots up, there's my personal logo that I'm using, same as the car logo. Um, you can boot straight into the app and then um, it connects to the ODB scanner, check in the PID support and there you go straight away. So if I give it a bit of a rev, turn the music down, uh, give it a bit of a rev. So cool. You'll probably notice there's um, like a half second delay between like um, what's happening on the, uh, what I do and obviously the car actually revving and the revs appearing on the on the screen. Um, that's mostly I think down to the ECU because I tried this in Brother Lenore's car and um, the response was hell of a lot quicker. So I think the ECU on my car, I mean it is 2005 so, or 2006 model, so it's gonna be slightly slower, I guess. Uh, not as good a ECU, but, uh, or cheaper one, I don't know. Uh, it is Hyundai after all, but uh, I do love it. The car that is, and this, everything. Hey, it's all good. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's, it's really good, really effective, um, as well as on this particular dashboard, um, you swipe across, um, you've got current map um, and then also I've got a clock and randomly I thought I'd put a, 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 a stopwatch on there um, because why not uh, but you can kind of customize it and, and do what you want with it you can choose different dashes as well um, it's really cool so if I go to gallery uh, don't want to see the feature of one um, if I have a look at another one that I, I purchased just to try out use that one um, more of a kind of a, a Lambo look um, where you can adjust various things, map mode and then you've got uh, various laps for official tracks um, map and AFR uh, RPM and advanced spark uh, lots of information there um, so you can check like your, your map intake, your um, intake air temperature, your coolant temperature, boost if you have turbos, um, pressure, uh, air fuel ratio, that sort of thing. Supports um, Spotify um, and I think uh, just general kind of uh, playlists from your standard Google app, Google Music app, you know what I mean. Um, some other bits and pieces but uh, yeah I like my slightly modified uh, coupe dash. Uh, and so yeah, that's it. It's, it's really good, really effective, really easy. And there's a wasp in here, so I'm going to go. Bye.